Thursday, April 16th, 10.15 a.m. That is when an earthquake hit the University of Utah campus. Not an actual earthquake, however, but a drill for the Great Utah Shakeout. There were two separate drills in the shakeout. The drop, cover, and hold drill, then the building evacuation drill. Emergency management at the U were the ones who put the event on, and Stuart Moffitt, the associate director at emergency management, was in charge in the field. So why did they put the event on? Well, the shakeout is from California. It's an earthquake drill, and about three years ago, the state of Utah adopted it. And at the same time, the University of Utah adopted it as a way for us to practice what we would do in an earthquake, to drop, to cover, to hold on, to protect ourselves. Almost double of the expected students showed up Thursday to learn the drills. Stewart also gave us insight on what to do during an earthquake. So in an earthquake, you want to drop down low to the ground before the earthquake drops you. Uh, cover yourself, get under a chair or a table, and, you're, and if you don't have a chair to get under, get under uh, your own hands. Cover your head, cover your neck. If you're outside, stay away from power lines and trees. And then hold on. This earth is going to shake, and if you're under a table, that table may want to be rolling backwards and forwards, so you got to hold on to it. If you're outside, just try to hold on to the person nearest you. Once students exited their buildings, they then had to go to the closest station to check in. At the emergency assembly point, people are writing down their university network IDs, and it's kind of like a safe and well so that we can collect them and report to senior administration. These are the people that we know that are safe and well, and, and let's start looking for the other people that we don't know where they are. Once students went through their station, they were given a glow stick and a handbook for earthquake safety. I'm Matt Lindsley, reporting for Newsbreak.